So how do we come to know that a given substance is a solid, a liquid or a gas? You can see uh, in front of you a, a sort of an arrangement of just two particles if they are present in a solid, a liquid or a gas. Now please remember these particles could be atoms or they could be molecules. In solids the particles we are taking just two particles so they hardly have any space between them. They are tightly packed and they are have a strong force of attraction and they hardly have any space to move around. In case of liquids you can clearly see that the particles are far apart from each other. They have space between them and the space is known as the interparticle space and these particles will definitely have lesser force of attraction because they have more spaces between them. And on the other hand gases are still far apart from each other and these particles they also tell us that since they are far apart from each other, so the force of attraction between these particles is almost negligible. So what decides the state of any substance? There are three properties which tell us about the state of any substance. Interparticle spaces, that is the space between the particles of matter. Interparticle force of attraction, that is the force that exists between the particles of matter. And the kinetic energy of particles due to their motion. Thus, from these three points, we conclude that the states of matter, solid, liquid and gases could have an arrangement of this sort. As you can clearly see, the solids have hardly any spaces between them and definitely would not be free to move around and ha will have a strong force of attraction. Liquids, on the other hand, you can see have spaces between them. The force of attraction would be less than that of solids and they would have more spaces to move around. On the other hand, gases are have more spaces much more spaces than liquids and have very less force of attraction and in turn are more free to move around so from this we also come to know that if we have two particles a and b the space between them is the interparticle space and the force of attraction between these two particles is known as the interparticle force of attraction